Most of the food you eat is both delicious and safe. However, when disease-causing microbes hide in foods, this may result in foodborne illness, which is impossible to ignore. Each year, it is estimated that one in six people in the United States suffer from foodborne illness. That's 48 million people. Usually, they are sick for only a day or two, then have a full recovery. However, for some people, foodborne illness can be extremely serious. Each year, about 128,000 are hospitalized. Most tragically, approximately 3,000 die. The good news is that foodborne illness can be prevented. Proper food handling and processing can eliminate most microbial pathogens and keep food safe. Throughout history, people have used many processing techniques to make foods safe to eat, including cooking, canning, pasteurizing, and drying. However, traditional methods usually change a food's appearance, texture, and taste. Today, consumers want to enjoy high-quality, nutritious foods that also maintain a fresh appearance and taste. Meeting these consumer demands while also keeping food safe is especially important for shellfish and fresh produce, such as fruits and vegetables, since these can be consumed raw or uncooked. Without some sort of processing, even the freshest looking foods can harbor microbes that can make people sick. Luckily, there are alternative processing techniques that can make foods safe to eat without altering their fresh quality. These are called non-thermal processes. Researchers are working to identify the best non-thermal processing parameters for produce and shellfish to reduce microbes that cause illness while maintaining the fresh qualities of the food. Foodborne illness in humans may become less common as we learn how best to eliminate key pathogens such as norovirus on both produce and shellfish, E. coli 0157H7 on produce, salmonella on produce, and vibrio on shellfish. Food may be subjected to high pressure processing. Extremely high pressure, the equivalent of 2,500 times the pressure in your car tires, destroys disease-causing microbes and, when used properly, does not change the fresh qualities of the food.